Hey people, uh, it's me. Right, this is my next instalment for the Priscilla Queen of the Desert inspired looks. This one is the one you see in the picture, which is Oliver Thornton's, uh, who plays Felicia. And it's a uh, part in I Will Survive. This is the other uh, colour that he wears because he's got two uh, makeup looks for that. So I really hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, and obviously, I will have more on the way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've put on Painterly Paint Pot Base uh, by MAC. Um, again, just applied that all over the top. I've got hair in my lip. Okay, so then after that, I'm just going to use powders to gently outline because, as you can see here, there are a lot of colours and it does take a, a lot of time to do. This is what we'll do when life is peaceful there. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put the gold on. Uh, just to outline the powder, I'm using Gold Mine by Mac, which is just a really standard gold colour. Don't turn that down, Tony. No, it's not that loud. It doesn't come out that loud. Thing, trust me. The first thing I'm going to take the colour of the gold here and pull back. And you're just taking that back because what I've done here I've just taken a light blue and just curled up so it meets the end of my um, eyebrow and then you're just gonna put it in your tear duct okay so after you've just outlined that gold area I'm just going to take a blue color um, which is a Barry M color and it's Dazzle Dust number 20. This colour here. Okay, so we're just going to take that powder and we're just going to take it dry and you're just going to apply it in this sort of area. And then just gently at the back. You can take it to your brow here and just in a straight line pull it down. And it's basically just going on all of this area as well. Uh, you don't have to map it out too much. It just it just gives you it just gives you an outline of where you're gonna put it. Okay, um, I'm gonna take the gold colour now by Barry, and I'm gonna start applying the colours wet. This is colour 96. It's like um, a yellowy gold colour. Um, so yeah, you're literally just going over the gold that you put on dry. So it's just really easy. And even if you go into your brow, don't worry too much because you can just pencil over that so it's not a problem if you mix the colours. And you're applying that and then obviously you're just going to go over the powder that you've done here. And just put in your tear duct to bring it back a bit. Okay and now you're just going to take that light blue again and now you're just going to apply it wet. And take it down straight and sort of like fill in the gaps, paint by numbers. Mm, made up, paint my numbers. That'd be quite cool actually. I might have to do a tutorial on that. Look, lovely matching set of hers and hers mm. or something. I'll give it the best. Not on your life. Oh, imagine. Meets you the magnificent and her blushing bright. Um and whilst we're here, we're just gonna take this blue and we're just gonna underline your bottom lash line. Uh we're gonna go over it with the dark blue, but you want the lighter blue to be uh, underneath it. So, that's the initial look. I look like a planet. <laughs> I look like a planet. <laughs> okay. Uh, this makeup is amazing. I love his dress. I tried to figure out how they did those shoes in the show, and it's like tights. So, oh, yeah, yeah, no, so I knew that. Up. Oh, I didn't. No I want to get some too. Oh, I love the night I get to boogie on the disco. Wow. Okay, the next colour I'm taking is a blue, which is number 19, which is a barium colour, and it's really sparkly, um, lots of glitter in it, and it's just really bold. Uh, yeah, so we're now applying this one wet as well and as you can see the gap here is sort of where it's going to go um, and with this look you just need to do like a lot of blending 
uh, mixing until you sort of get the colours right and just reapply where you need to, it's no problem. Okay, then you're taking this colour up to about here, to the way the colour of your eye starts, and you're just going to pull it back. <laughs> what did he say? Someone with no arms or right foot. <laughs> <laughs> And then you're going to put it in your crease and pull it back. What? Are you thinking dirty thoughts? Put it in your crease. <laughs> I'll have to redo it. Stop laughing. See, um, that's so, why you have to like... Shut up! I've got to edit this. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take this blue colour and I'm going to line it in the crease. <laughs> Okay, so again, you're kind of doing like the tear duct kind of party piece there. Um, now it's a case of blending, putting powder on top so you can blend it, so I'm just going to do that as well. Okay, so as I was saying, with the um, eyebrow brush, I'm just going to take that, because if I've got any colour in my eyebrow, um, obviously this will just get rid of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to blend any of the harsh lines. <laughs> just so, because obviously you, you want it bold, because obviously it's Priscilla Queen of the Desert and it is going to be a bold look. Um, but you also just want to get rid of any harsh lines and just sort of like connect the lines, because you get such a bold line here. If you just take a clean brush and just circle on top or pat it it'll get rid of any harsh lines and then um, you can just go over it if you want and again see I'm just gonna go over with the blue okay and we're just gonna take that dark blue now and just underline right under your lash line and then obviously you've got the blue coming out underneath that further. Mm. Okay, so as you can see here, I've just been doing a bit of blending um, and mixing and just messing around with the colours. Uh, and I've basically circled it round. It just gives it a nice scope and a nice finish to it, like you see on the mask. So I've tried to keep it as close to the uh, one that Ollie Thornton wears in the show. So as you can see there, the kind of look beginning to develop is pretty much done. Um, blend it where you need to blend it and there's just uh, two more things I'm going to do. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take black liquid liner and I'm just going to take this liner and I'm literally just going to line the top. See, so just taking it about just under three quarters of the way over. So you just line that top because it just gives that little extra bit of boldness um, to the look. You're just going to apply mascara on the top, outer lashes. Great if you've got fake eyelashes, it will work really well. I'm going to apply it to the outer corners. Okay, so now that I've done all that, uh, it looks pretty much done, so that's pretty cool. Um, Again, I, you're, you're like right there. I never know because I've got like time and minutes left. Uh, okay, so this is my next instalment in the Proust Andra. Seriously, not when I'm doing this. This is serious stuff. <laughs> Edit. Uh, yeah. Um, yep, yeah, so the look's done. Um, obviously, you just amend it and tweak it where you want. If you want it to be a bit bolder, if you want more lines, go nuts. It's really just a really fun look to do. So I'll just quickly show you here what I've done. Um, so as you can see it's bold colours, um, really cool, really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, let me zoom out. So as you can see here, uh, it's the look which Oliver wears for the I Will Survive, the other option. Really bold, really colourful and I've tried to keep it as best to what Oliver wears and has makeup wise. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I've got um, loads, loads more to do and loads more coming on the way. Um, so I really hope you enjoy them and I'll see you soon. Right, bye.